Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Meetings with a large group of people can be boring. I was in a meeting where everyone in the circle went around and shared what they were doing. I was taking some notes when I heard my name. With all eyes on me, I shared my update. But it was not my turn. My coworker had said my name to ask me a question, and I'd interrupted her midstream, which meant I'd fallen asleep, and now everybody knew it. In today's episode, how to stay awake after an all-nighter. First things first, tell me I'm not alone. In the comments, please tell me you've fallen asleep somewhere awkward. Remember to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. New videos every Wednesday. How to stay awake after an all-nighter. Things like healthy snacks, great music, small naps, engaging conversation, these things all help, but this is important. Caffeine does not work the same way after an all-nighter because of the Barks Doggy Law. Imagine you're sitting somewhere bored and a cute little doggy comes up to you. Bark, oh, so cute. And then another dog comes and another, and another, and another. Eventually, no matter how much you love doggies, at some point, it's too much. There's too much barking and you can't focus. The Berks Doggy Law is really the Yerkes Dodson Law, which says that performance improves to a point and then it's too much stimulation and your performance gets worse. When I fell asleep at work, I had caffeine, but it was my normal amount of caffeine. After an all-nighter, the amount of caffeine you need doubles. People who are doing boring, monotonous tasks benefit from 200 milligrams of caffeine to hit that peak in performance. After an all-nighter, that amount doubles. So you need 200 to 600 milligrams of caffeine to hit that peak in performance. But this doesn't mean one big doggy. Do not buy giant energy drinks with 600 milligrams of caffeine. Instead, what research has shown with the military, with truck drivers, with all night sleep deprivation and a boring task the next day, you need 200 milligrams every two to four hours. That is better than having one giant dose of caffeine. Okay, so what do you drink to get this 200 milligram sweet spot? I'm assuming after an all-nighter, you don't have time to shop on Amazon, nor do you have time to stand in line at Starbucks or McDonald's. So the things you're most likely to find at a gas station are Rockstar and Monster. And if you have time, McDonald's iced coffee, and those will provide about the 200 milligrams of caffeine that you need every two to four hours to get you through your all-nighter until you have time to sleep again. Five-hour energy and Forto's organic coffee shot also have 200 milligrams, but for some people, the act of drinking something helps them stay awake. With the shot, boom, it's gone. So you don't have that continuous stimulation of drinking, nor do you have the benefit of the exercise going back and forth to the bathroom because it's less liquid with a shot. So if bathroom breaks are not a problem, I do recommend the larger beverages as opposed to the shots. And remember, adults should have no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. So the day after an all-nighter, you're probably going to break that limit. Try not to make this a regular thing. Thanks, mom. If you want to learn more about the five levels of fatigue, check the link below in the video description. I hope this was helpful. Till next time, I'm Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks.